Hello students, welcome to the session. I hope you all are doing good. Our topic for today is working with Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. You all are aware with Microsoft PowerPoint 10, it helped us to make presentation. Presentation is a formal way of talking which help us to present our data in a more structured manner. In today's session, we will understand about what is presentation and what are the various things you can do on the PowerPoint presentation. Let us start the session. What is a presentation? A presentation is a formal talk to one or more persons that presents ideas or information in a clear structured way. With Microsoft PowerPoint 2010, you can design visually tuning presentations with text, graphics, photos, videos, animation and much more. Once you have created the PowerPoint 2010 presentation, we can present it publicly. Let us learn to work more on PowerPoint. Inserting an image To make a presentation look more attractive and interesting, we can add an image to it. There are two ways to add an image. Inserting a clipart Inserting a picture Inserting a clipart Go with these steps to insert a clipart. To open the slide in which you want to insert clipart, change the layout of the slide that includes a clipart image placeholder. Click on the clipart icon. The clipart task pane appears on the right side. Type the name of the clipart image that we want to insert. Click on the down arrow of search in and click on the clipart collection. Click and go. Click on the clipart image we want to insert. The image will be inserted in the slide. There is a picture tool in the ribbon. We can format the image with its help. Click on the close button to close the pane. Inserting a picture. We can also insert external pictures in the presentation apart from clipart. It could be an image saved from the internet in the computer. Go with these steps to insert a picture. Open the slide in which we want to add an image. Change the layout of the slide to the layout that includes an insert picture placeholder. Click on the picture icon. Insert picture dialog box will appear. We can browse to find the location of the image. Click on the image that we want to add. Click on insert. The picture will be inserted in the slide. The picture tool will appear in the ribbon. So students, we got to know how to insert a clip art or a picture. This will help you to make your presentation more interesting and creative. This makes your presentation to look more good. Now let us understand how to change font, background and other things to make your presentation more reliable. Changing the font of the text. Go with these steps to change the font of the text. Select the text that we want to change the font. Click on the home tab. Click on the down arrow of font button. A drop down list will appear. Click on the font that we want to apply. Remember, in Microsoft PowerPoint, we can change the font size and color of the text. We can also change the background color, spacing, etc. All this is known as formatting. Bold, italic and underline the text. Go with these steps to bold, italicize and underline. Select the text to bold, italicize and underline. Click on the Home tab. We can click on the following buttons. B to bold the text. I to italicize the text. U to underline the text. Changing the font size of the text. Go with these steps to change the font size of the text. 
Select the text to change the font size. Click on the Home tab. Click on the down arrow of the font size button. A drop down list of various font sizes will appear. Click on the font size that we want to apply on the text. Changing the font color of the text. Go with these steps to change the font color of the text. Select the text of which we want to change the font color. Click on the Home tab. Click on the down arrow on Font Color button. A color palette will appear. Click on the color which you want to apply. The font color of the text will get changed. Changing the slide layout. Go with these steps to change the layout of a slide. Open the slide that we want to change layout. Click on the Home tab. Click on the Layout button. A drop-down list of various layouts will appear. Click on the layout that we want to apply. The new layout is applied on the slide. So students, you got to know how to change the font, how to add font, how to do italic, etc. Now, let us understand what are the different things you can do with your background. How to change your background, how to add effect and etc. other things. Let us start. Adding solid color in background. Go with these steps to add solid color in background. Click on the design tab. Click on background styles. Click on format background. The format background dialog box will appear. Click on the color button. A color palette appears. Click on the color that we want to apply on the background. Click on Close to apply the color on the current page. Click on Apply to All to apply the color to all the slides. Now, the presentation background will be displayed in a new color. Adding Gradient Color in Background Go with these steps to add gradient color in background. Repeat steps 1 to 3 from the previous page. The Format Background dialog box appears. Click on Gradient Fill. Click on Preset Colors. A gradient pattern will appear. Click on the pattern that we want to apply on the background. Click on the Type button. Select the gradient pattern. Click on Direction. Select any direction of the gradient pattern. Click on Close to apply on current slide. Click on Apply to All button to apply on all slides. The gradient color is applied to the presentation. Adding Textured Fill Color in Background Go with these steps to add Texture Fill Color in Background. Repeat steps 1 to 3 from the page number 67. The Format Background dialog box will appear. Click on Picture or Texture Fill. Click on the Texture button. A drop-down list of texture will appear. Click on the texture we want to apply as a background. Click on Close to apply texture on the current slide. Click on Apply to all button to apply on all slides. Now, the new texture is applied to the presentation. Inserting slide transition. Go with these steps to insert slide transition. Click on the slide we want to insert transition. Click on the Transitions tab. Various transitions appear. Click on any one transition. An animation icon appears near the slide in Slide pane. Click on the down arrow of Effect Options. Of Effect Options. Click on any one transition. The slide transition will be inserted now. Changing Microsoft PowerPoint view. We can change the view of the Microsoft PowerPoint presentation by the view tab. Microsoft PowerPoint presentation appears in normal view. The normal view contains three panes. Outline pane, slides pane, notes pane. Go with these steps to change Microsoft PowerPoint view. Click on Normal View in the View button, Outline View. Click on the Outline tab. 
the presentation appears in the outline format. We can click on the outline text to edit it. Slide view. Click on the slides tab. The current slide appears. We can click on slides if we want to view in the slide tab. Run a slideshow. After completing the presentation, we can run the slideshow. Slideshow displays a single slide at a time on full screen. Go with these steps to run a slideshow. Click on the first slide. Click on the slideshow button to start the slideshow. The slide appear show. The slideshow starts to appear. To view next slide, click on button or click anywhere on the current slide. To view the previous slide, click on dash button or the backspace key. Keep on pressing button till the last screen appears. Click on spacebar screen. Click on screen to exit the slideshow. Remember, press the escape key from the keyboard if we want to close the slideshow in between. Memory recall. We can add an image to the presentation to make it more attractive and interesting. In the presentation, we can add an image saved from the internet in the computer. Normal view consists three panes, namely outline pane, slides pane and notes pane. We can apply solid, gradient and textured fill color to the presentation background. A slideshow displays single slide at a time on full screen. That's all students for today's session of Microsoft PowerPoint. You got to know about different techniques and different methods to make your presentation more better. That's all for today's session. I hope you all are aware how to work with Microsoft PowerPoint 2010.